Welcome back. In this video, we are going to go through how to make banners in Affinity Designer. The first thing you need to do is grab your pen tool, or you can use the keyboard shortcut P. So make your first point straight down, and if you are comfortable, you can just go with it or hit shift and it will keep you in a straight line. Same thing, except for this time, go horizontally and then up and Affinity Designer will put in your guide. So this is letting me know that I am in line with both of these points. So I'm going to head and select it and then close my rectangle and you will notice that it is closed when you're over hovering over that point and you'll see kind of like a circle next to the pen tool. And I'm going to go over to the color panel and change this color to a blue and I'm going to turn off the stroke. So switching over to the node tool or A on your keyboard, click halfway down your rectangle and you'll see that it has added a point and drag in to the right. Do the same thing on the opposite side and you have created a banner. Switching to the selection tool or move tool with V on the keyboard, selecting that banner, command C and command V to copy and paste, or you can go to edit, copy, and then edit, paste. I'm just going to drag this down and then zoom in on the shortcut Z and zoom in on this and then with a space bar, you'll see the hand up here and then you can click and drag. I just want to add in a little decoration using the pen tool. So making one point, holding shift, going over to the opposite side. And I'm going to change over to the stroke in the color panel. You can do that by clicking on the circle that looks like a stroke basically <laughs> and then just changing it to I'm going to go with a dark gray with the selection tool and that selected once again I'm going to copy and paste so command C command V holding shift and dragging it up now I want this bottom line to appear thicker than the one that is above. So in your stroke panel, so two over from color, I'm going to switch the cap to the butt cap, so the middle selection for cap, and then I'm going to increase the width of this. And now select both of those lines, copy and paste, so command C, command V, and then I'm going to flip it around, holding shift and dragging up. So that's a way of adding a little decoration to your banner. You can always switch that from a solid line to a dotted line by changing this to cap. And then a dash line style. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And then in your dashes, make this first one a zero. And then you can increase that second option to have more of a space. Following that same style, I'm going to use the pen tool again and create a rectangle and you can see that it has 
kept the same preference for that dotted line. So just go back over to your stroke panel and select a solid line. Or actually, we don't want the stroke, so just do no line style. Go back to color and switch to this blue. You can use the eyedropper tool. And this time with A selected or your node tool, we can do a rounded edge instead of this typical pulled in or cinched edge. So if you hover over the side, you'll see like this little squiggly line up here. So just click and pull in and then do the opposite side. And you have a different kind of banner. Moving on, we have two more styles left and starting with the pen tool again. Do exactly like you did before. This time I'm going to copy and paste but I am going to decrease the width and once again click halfway on that side and then pull it in. Drag up to that first rectangle and change this color to something slightly darker and arrange this so it is behind that original banner so you can use the keyboard shortcut command and the left bracket or you can go over to your layers panel and just move it down. Use the pen tool and select that bottom right point, go up to that original banner and select the bottom left and then over to this corner and then close this triangle. And then you want the darkest shade yet of blue or the color that you're using. And you will see you have added in that shadow. So select both of these Command C, Command V. I'm going to zoom out by using Command and the minus sign. Up in the top toolbar, you can flip horizontally, hold Shift, and then pull over to this other side and arrange it behind again. and you have created another banner. So I'm going to select all of this and group it. Copy and paste. And I'm going to switch it so it is all the same color blue. And now I want to add a stroke the size of the stroke is completely up to you, whatever is your preference and what you like. And you can either leave it this darker color or you can change it. I'm going to change it to white so that it blends in to the background. And I'm going to decrease that size of the stroke slightly. And now you have created five different banner styles. So you can use your text tool and just go ahead and type in. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.